my beautiful buddies and welcome back to Rebuilding Strange Town. Today we have the Grunts family home and this one's kind of an exciting one because it is the very very last one in the Rebuilding Strange Town series before I go ahead and do my little like overview video for you guys and I am so excited about it because I have been working so hard on this um, like off camera for like a while now and I the reason for that was is because there's a lot more smaller builds in this one that I have done um, that I know you guys just wouldn't be as interested in. So I went ahead and I did them, but they are going to be included in the overview video um, for when I show off all of my builds because um, that was one thing that you guys told me that you wanted to see last time is that you wanted to see absolutely all the builds. Um, so I am going to make sure I include them all via screenshots and talk to you guys all about the characters and what I gone ahead and did and i put like a lot of detail into this of course like with the descriptions and things like that so it will be rather exciting um also too if you have noticed something something different um about my audio it, it is because i got a brand new mic um and this is the first time i am using it um for a video i went ahead and just did a couple of test recordings and it is working it's working good it's working great um i figured out what my problem was and it was because uh, i forgot to turn on the gain <laughs> so it was turned all the way down like to nothing so that's why i couldn't get it to work before like i couldn't figure out what was wrong and I, that apparently was wrong because i'm just stupid and just didn't know how to work it so yeah apparently my worries were for absolutely nothing and hopefully you guys hear a big difference i mean you guys might not but i guess i probably will be because i knew that my old mic was crap <laughs> <laughs> and now we have a new one so which is which is lovely it is so lovely um so yeah do let me know if you guys hear any difference at all because i'm curious to see um and yeah also for this um build going back to the build um and stop talking a little bit less about me and my upgrades that i just did um it, it, i wanted to go ahead and say that this build was done um before before that whole um, debug update and stuff like that came out, like the whole rebranding update. Um, but I was pleased to see that even before the update, there was this really, really cool like truck, like it was a military truck that they included, um, which now we have all the cars, which is great. But it, before, I didn't know that was in there. And I was so super duper excited because then you'll, because you'll see me like later on, like towards the end of the build, um, I built like a little garage and like put that in there. And I know in the Grunt's house in The Sims 2, they didn't have a garage with that in there. But I was like, that is just too perfect. I have to have that in this house because um, if you're not familiar with the Grunt's, like I will go ahead and I'll like, like link um i'll try to go ahead and like link in the corner of the video if i remember or, or like at the end of end of it maybe um like the playlist for you so you can go go ahead and check them out the greatest sim because i talk a little bit more in detail about their family um but um basically the grunts are well the father mr grunt is a military man he's like high up in the rankings and he like really like pushes that on to his like three sons that he wants them to join it too and things like that and i was like if they're a military home then definitely then having like this like big military truck would make sense you know so i was like i'm gonna it's gonna be like a little bit of rosebuds inspiration i guess as for um strange town because sometimes i do go ahead and add things if i think that they fit um i a fit for like my throwback save file because while i do like to keep it really authentic to the sims 2 and just older games that like i'm planning on doing in the future i do really like to put my own spin on it sometimes if it does like make sense and for it to be inspired and i think you guys will enjoy that little detail you guys tell me that you definitely enjoy enjoy it when i get a little creative um so yeah we'll, we'll see we'll see how you guys like it otherwise the layout is pretty similar um to how it was in the sims too i definitely think mine i feel like that the house in the sims 2 though was more longer than my version which i feel like mine is definitely more square um but yeah this is like it, it's a very traditional home so like the shape of it is very very easy to work with isn't it so it makes the layout easy um 
However, <laughs> um, furni the furnishing it isn't, I feel like furnishing it like was kind of a bit more difficult just because in The Sims 2, like, well, like in any of the games, I feel like they leave the houses very empty um, compared to, I feel like, how um, us creators do it, but they do that on purpose. So um, computers of all, like, of all grades, I guess you could say, like, of, no matter if you have a really great computer or if your computer isn't really much of a gaming computer at all, um, can handle it. Um, but yeah, it just, it allowed me to get creative, I guess you could say. Um, especially too with the backyard, because in The Sims 2, I believe, I believe, it, oh man, it was a career item too. Yeah, it was a career item that came with the military career and it had this really, really cool boot camp thing that your Sims could do and they had it in their backyard. But, in The Sims 4, we have nothing like that. We don't, well, we do have career items, but they're like not, they're like not like as specialty items as they were in The Sims 2, if that makes sense. Um, I don't know if any of you guys remember, but they even had this like, I forget what career it was for. I think it was for maybe the medical character career that your Sims could like have plastic surgery on them. And it was like so weird. It was kind of fun because like, if they had like a really low skill in something, they would like come out botched and it was hilarious. <laughs> but yeah, anyway, um, so they had this like really cool, the Grunts had this really cool, um, like combat training station that I like recreated with some like debug mode items and like the rock climbing wall. So it is kind of functional. Um, but just not, I guess, as in the same way as it was in The Sims 2. You'll see what I mean. I think you guys will like like what I came up with and what I did. <laughs> um, but yeah, what? Ooh. Okay, so going back to the story of the Grunts, if you guys um, don't know who they are, um, the, the the Grunts are a military family. Um, but the mother is dead. Um, it is suspected that another. Um, county in town <laughs> um a woman named Oliver specter yes i know Oliver specter is like a horrible person like there's so many speculations about her um but yeah she was the one who was suspected to have killed um like mr grunt's wife um and it was it's like really really like i don't know because i really like like these like weird conspiracy theories <laughs> i'm like i'm always one of those people too that i'm like I like love like fan theories about things like I, I'm definitely one of those people <laughs> that like believe in like oh my god no this should happen and that should happen no it's real <laughs> even even in like the last season of game of thrones i believe in the danny resurrection theory um thank you very much <laughs> but the, now we're getting really off topic now we're getting so off topic but yeah i basically i love the fan theories um and like yeah i i do like that theory of how all specter um was the one who could who did kill um mr grunt's wife so i'm going with that i'm definitely going with that um because I just I just feel like it makes sense because I do believe that maybe they don't have the best relationship. I can't remember, but it, but I do remember reading on Sims Wiki that it is suspected that he is her next target that when you like start playing the game because I think he's the one like he's the one who comes and greets her like or one of her first vi visitors or something like that, um, which is like really interesting. So yeah, I don't know. <laughs> But yeah, now we're just going ahead and furnishing. As you can see too, I use a lot of um, Strange Town. Strange Town, oh my god, a lot of Stranger. I, I want to say Stranger Things. Oh my god, what is the name of this pack? Strangerville. Strangerville. <laughs> <laughs> obviously i watch I, I have this summer i've watched like too many damn tv shows i really have <laughs> but anyway um i've used a lot of stuff from that pack in this build as well as parenthood um so you can like kind of see it all come together one of their sons too um isn't into the whole um what should I call it? Like the whole military life. He's definitely a bit of a rebel. Um, so it's kind of interesting too. Because you can kind of see the difference. Maybe in the two sons. Um, of how like different they are. Because one of them is very very much like. Like the dad. You know like he follows him. And he wants to be just like him. And things like that. Um, meanwhile the other one. He kind of has his like own kind of vision. For what he wants in life. I guess you could say. And then there is a little son too. And he's small so. 
he's up for interpretation i guess <laughs> and uh, i made sure to because like the son that um the son that wasn't w wasn't the one who wanted to be in the military i forget their names honestly this is terrible i forget their names i created them so long ago i forgot their names but i made sure to get their backstory and stuff right when i created them don't you worry um i did that i just didn't come prepared for this speed build <laughs> i guess this voiceover this voiceover It'll, it'll it'll get better it'll get better now that i've gotten a new mic it'll it'll get better <laughs> i i just need to like give myself time and figure it all out but anyway back to what i was saying um yeah he i made the made sure to like kind of give him like a different vibe than he had in the sims 2 and the sims 2 he kind of just had like like an eh but i can't i can't explain it like he didn't really have like a vibe to him at all he's just kind of like eh and like i made him more of like a cool dude i guess you can kind of say like you you when if you haven't watched the video already you'll get what i mean by like i gave him more of like a cool dude because like i believe too like he has like longer hair and like he has like a bit of stubble on him and things like that which is kind of interesting because it's a stark difference from his father who has like a buzz cut and like his other brother who has like a buzz cut and like he's he's definitely more laid back and i wanted to show that too in their characters so i felt like that was important and if the video is synced up right you'll have seen me start to go ahead and do that whole um do that whole thing with the whatchamacallit the boot camp course thing in the back yeah <laughs> oh wow i this this voice over is just getting better and better I, all these technical words and all these technical terms a plus bro <laughs> um but yeah also too i am not sure when this video is going up um i'm assuming it's probably going up the next week from when i record this um but we will see um and i also want to say too is that for whatever reason if you notice that i am gone the following week and i have from like when i'm posting this um if i'm if this is going up the week i think it is um you'll you'll notice that maybe i haven't been around hopefully not hopefully i have something pre-recorded for you guys i'm pretty sure i probably will um but in case i don't and i just got really busy um i'm currently in a vacation right now with one of my friends i, I was planning on going on planning to go to vegas and i am going at the end of the month and that is really really exciting um but yeah i have to like think about too about like to do some uh, um videos for you guys but, like while i'm gone i'm not sure if i currently want to have the overview video um while i'm gone or try to push it before i leave or just wait until afterwards i honestly i think i'm probably gonna wait till after i get back to do it just so i am there to go ahead and like put up the blog post when they're supposed to be up and um kind of like do all that extra like like behind the scenes work with it because um doing because like uploading i guess like the whole save file for me isn't like just like a normal video because like i really really put so much care into that and things like that like i really want it to kind of not get the attention it deserves because i don't think i deserve attention but i just want people to know that's an option out there for them to download it and for them to go ahead and experience something new in their games because doing save files i always feel like it's really really fun because you kind of like step into a whole new world and kind of see what um excuse me um the creator is like thinking and things like that and just have some new townies it's always fun um so yeah like i want to be there like when when that happens so is either gonna be before or probably afterwards probably afterwards um and it should be really really exciting i, I hope you guys really really like about like what i'm doing with it um last week when i did a collab with yorkie i did mention too that i was interested and before going to um moving on to veronaville um to go ahead oh there's my clock i don't know if you can hear it loud and clear on my mic now but <laughs> it's there um if ooh, what was i saying what was i saying oh that i wanted to go ahead and take a break from doing some two worlds for a little bit because i do want to move on to veronaville um, I wanted to make 
what am I saying? Okay, I'm sorry. The clock ring in the background, like, like sidetracked me. But basically, what I was saying is that I, before I move on to Runaville, I want to go ahead and do SimCity from the Herbs. I think that would be fun. Um, because I think it would be like just something a little bit different because, um, uh, while I'm doing the save file, I do notice that other people do like to do like recreations of Sims 2 things too. And it's like great and things like that. I think it's wonderful how everyone has their own vision for it, especially too, because the, since the Sims 4 has, um, had been uploading their own, like, sims from like the past games like into the sims 4 like, like they've done that like in the game like you can go ahead and look them up and download them um if you want to but i go ahead and like make my own sims and make them very i guess i make them very like suited towards like very very much so about how they were in the sims 2 versus i feel like now they kind of go ahead and add sims here and there and do different things i guess than what it was um so I definitely have been like thinking about like how can I make this different? How can I make this interesting for you guys all the all the all the all the time? <laughs> um, and I was like, I need like we need to go ahead and go and like we need to go ahead and make sure um, that I include something different. So I was like, I'm gonna maybe try it and see if you guys would like to see a like herbs update for like the um the the save file because that's part of the reason too why i wanted to name it um my throwback save file and not just like rosebud sims 2 save file like sims 2 sims 2 into sims 4 save file or something like that because it allowed me to add things from the sims 1 or add things from the spin-off games and things like that and i think that would be fun because um I don't really believe that there was really any prominent, like, Sims 2 world. Well, there there was, in The Sims 3, there's definitely Bridgeport and things like that, but I don't feel like they were as iconic. I feel like as, um, something like The Herbs, where they were, like, very, 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 kind of, how, how should I put it, like, not theatrical. What is the word I'm looking for? They were just, they were just, like, very out there, and they had, like, very, very specific personalities and things like that i just think they would be fun sims to add um that you guys can go ahead and play with if you wanted to um <laughs> but yeah i'm interested in doing that like afterwards um as like a as like the next step of the save file before i move on to veronaville also do because i'm not sure in where i want to place veronaville because like i was the obvious choice is obviously um windenburg um, cause like Windenburg, I feel like would look really well with it, but I also considered, um, Brindleton Bay too, just because I really love the look of Brindleton Bay. And I feel like Ronneville doesn't have that many, um, like that many, how should I put it? Um, townies to go ahead and fill that big of a world of Windenburg. So yeah, we'll see. So that's part of the reason too, why I wanted to like, take a break from like the sims 2 world after this and like try something a little bit different for you guys um for the save file but yeah it will it will still be sims characters definitely share from past past games i feel like that's just kind of like our thing here we love doing that <laughs> and i enjoy doing it doing it with you guys and doing it for you guys um and hope you guys too like enjoy this like little patio and like how i went ahead and did it um let me know too if you guys are excited for my for my save file um i will keep you guys updated um i hope i enjoyed vacation too we'll see if i get to do some vlogging for you guys we'll see what happens if if it pans out good <laughs> um otherwise yeah i'll keep you guys very updated on twitter and make sure you guys comment comment down below if you haven't already and enter my giveaway i do have a giveaway on the channel i believe it's from I have two videos ago if this is going up correctly <laughs> go check it out um and i love you guys all so 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 much and i will speak to you guys soon okay bye 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 Mwah.